Violence in sport can include physical acts or, and verbal attacks, which occur in many sports. These can include intentional attempts to injure another player or coach, but can also include physical threats or harm sustained by the players or spectators. Violence in sport can also be committed by the fans as they create brawls that can lead onto the streets. The causes of violence in sport can include being genetically predisposed to violence, have unusually high testosterone levels, or just a personal grudge against the player or coach involved in the fight. Pros and cons of violence. The pros. Publicity, entertaining to watch and lets people release anger. The cons. Injury, bad role model for children, people are abused and, hate and hated. Violence in sport can be good for publicity because it, some, it is sometimes thought of as, an, as enjoyable to watch. For example, World Wrestling Entertainment, which is more known as WWE, where violence is glorified and physical harm is applauded, most of which is fake. Publicity attracts more people to the sport, which is good for television companies as it boosts the ratings in which keeps the show on air. It can also increase the revenue for clubs and teams through higher crowds. Violence in sport can also be a bad thing, as players, coaches and innocent bystanders can all get hurt. Spectator violence has lessened over the years because of better stadium layout and security arrangements, although the Italy vs Serbia match on the 12th of the 10th, 2010, in the European qualifiers involved a massive fight where a flare was launched onto the field and almost struck a player. Also, the Serbian goalkeeper's life was threatened by his own fans and had to take shelter in the opposition's dressing room. Therefore, the match was abandoned only seven minutes into the match. Violence can flow from the pitch, ring, rink, field etc and can spill into normal lives and especially into the oval or playground. Racial hatred, religion hatred and rivalry can all be exacerbated through violence at sporting venues. At the African Nations Cup in January 2010 to the Togolese bus was ambushed and shot at which killed three members of the squad including the assistant coach. In my opinion, violence in sport has more things going against it than for it. So, I think it is wrong and should be prevented as quickly as possible. A bigger penalty should apply to those that commit violence. If it is not stopped, we will just have another generation of sport players thinking that fighting and violence is the way to deal with decisions or problems that they don't agree with. This video I'm going to show you, show you shows some violence that occurs during sport and after sport.